Hello and welcome to another Primavera P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, I want to show it to you how the schedule log works in the Primavera P6 and how you can use it. What is the main item on the schedule log? As you see, I have the updated the schedule over here. When you press the schedule button, over here, if you can find it, the colorful view log here, it means that you check these selection bars for log to file. If it is gray out, you need to check this one. You have two options, override and append to existing. It's up to you, both of them are applicable, but only if you want to use it, you should at least one time schedule your project because maybe you opened the, another project previously. When you schedule it, it's going to be show you the other project log information. So I schedule it. Now, again, I press the schedule button and go to the view log. I split the screen to two sections. Again, I press the schedule and here, I want to show it to you how the system works. First of all, on the top area, we have the name of project and the ID of the project. After that, as you see on the screen, we have the general information. On the schedule log over here, the first option is Scheduling, Leveling, Setting. On the Schedule Leveling Setting, we discuss about what kind of setting we use during this scheduling. Whatever you have on the Schedule option, you can find it on this notepad file. For instance, scheduling, yes. Leveling, no. It means that I didn't level the project. I only scheduled the project. Next one. Ignore relationship to and from the other project. As you see on the right side, I didn't select it for the ignore relationship to and from other project. It means that if this option I need it, I need to check it. Then it's gonna be changed to yes. When it's changed to yes, it means that this setting works for me. I have the rest of information. One of them is very important. If you uncheck it, please check it. Recalculate assignment cost after scheduling. If you have the cost loaded program, Maybe you need to recalculate after each update for the progress, maybe for the, any cost of resource changes. Then after each schedule update, you will see the result will be updated for the cost too. The second part show you the return logic, progress override and actual date. You can see that over here. The next part is try to provide you the information about calculate the starter start lag from early start or actual start. You can see that on the left side, according to the right side selection, and so on. But what about the last one? Calculate multiple float path. No. Where is that? It is here. On the advanced tab, we have the calculate multiple float path, and we select it as a no, because we didn't select it here. Rest of this is the statics information over here. How many projects you already opened? How many activity you have in the project? Not started, in progress, completed. How many relationship you have? And the rest of information. But this is one mostly useful and regular checking for the health of schedule. Activity without predecessor, it is for. On the schedule, we only allow to have one predecessor-free task. 
that will be the start of the project. Rest of the activity need to be connected to each other. For instance, if I want to check it, basic in instrument index. Is it really predecessor free? Let me to press Ctrl F. And I try to find it. Here it is. Basic instrument index. If I go to the relationship, you will see that I don't have any predecessor for this activity. So I need to fix it. Over here, for instance, on the grouting, I have the same issue, but this time for the successor free. If I go through it, you will see that it is successor free task. So we need to fix this kind of issue before we want to send this schedule to our client. Very useful information is the comparison the current schedule logic with the baseline. If you want to compare it, you will see that this out of sequence activity provides the information. These are the change. What kind of change? Over here, for instance, I copy that. Control F, paste the information and find it. Okay, here, I started the installation on the 25th of February. If I go to the predecessor tab, you will see that I have the, pre the connection with finish to start with the preparation. Preparation is also started on the February 25th. But the relationship between these two activities are finished to start. But right now, both of them are going to be started simultaneously. In this case, this relationship type will not be valid, and I need to update it. How you can update it based on the logic? Which one is works for you? We have the replacement for the finish to start to be changed on the start to start or finish to finish based on your required logic fixing. Over here, I try to update it with the start to start relationship type. And now, if I schedule the project again, And I go to the view log. As you see, here I have 32 out of sequence activity. Here I have 31 out of sequence activity. It means that this one for the installation already cleared and I have less things to do. For the out of sequence activity, maybe managing of this kind of information over here is a little bit hard. You can easily copy this information and dump it into the Excel file. like this. Then each one you clear it, you can mark it and go to the next one. If you need to create a change log at the end, you can create the change log and send it to the all project stakeholder in order to update them. We update the logic of the project exactly same as this change log. If I want to proceed to this error, actual date is greater than data date. It means that we update something in the future. How it's come? If I copy this ID, search it, 
then you will see that it is here. If I go to the status, the start date of this activity is March 25th. If I press the schedule, you will see that the data date is March 10. So it's not possible to update something after data date. It is on the future. In this case, it is the typo error. You need to fix it. After this, if you have any problem with the milestone activity with the valid relationship, the system try to show it to you. Finish milestone and predecessor have a different calendar. The system try to provide you the list. And if you try to leveling the project with the help of the Primavera P6, you will see the result over here. Also, the system try to provide you the critical path in the list. So if you want to have the bulk of information for the critical path, you can only copy this exactly same as the out of sequence activity. You can bulk it into the Excel. Now the critical path is available on the Excel. And over here, if you have activity with unsatisfied constraint, activity with unsatisfied relationship, and activity with external date to be located over here. If the last one, activity with external date, is filled by the software, it means that you have the external link on this project. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson was helpful to you. Please keep up to date on LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook for more lessons. You can also visit our website www.globalprojectcontrol.com to find all of our lessons and courses at once. Thank you for subscribing to the GPC YouTube channel.